Hello and welcome. This is another gorgeous tenor in excellent all original condition. It's a Omega Seamaster automatic jumbo. This one is 38 millimeter diameter without crown and 41.6 millimeter from lug to lug, so it has very nice wrist presence. This one also has a gorgeous, gorgeous silver snowy sparkle dial. Um, it's uh, there you go like here you can see it's really good or fairly good because um in pictures and video it doesn't capture it as nicely as in the flesh but it's just incredible the the way it pops in the light just magnificent um the sparkle dial is fully original and is superb condition um very very light patina but um well mostly mostly just super clean the inner the white inner bezel which has a minute track is also in excellent condition often these are um, those are the first to go bad on these watches so just chose this one is a really good condition um, the steel cushion case is in excellent condition as well very very sharp uh, with light signs of use uh, it still has the uh, original satin sunburst uh, brushing just really beautiful piece both crown and crystal are original on omega signed um, crystal also in excellent condition you see the logo in the middle there are some spots between the case and the crystal um, that it well they can get cleaned up if you take off the crystal but I wasn't uh, I wasn't able to take off the crystal with the tools I have here. Um, but yeah, you only notice those spots under certain angles like this. But when you're wearing them, uh, when you're wearing the watch, you generally don't notice it. Uh, anyway, um, as I said, case is very very nice condition. This watch is a reference 166.065, powered by an automatic caliber 565 from 1971. Service history unknown, but it works well, keeps great time. Um, quick sedate also works perfectly. Just by pulling it, I'll show you in a bit. I do want to point out the second hand. Second hand. Um, sweeps very smoothly but it's a little bit jittery around here um, I think it has well it has to do with the second spring yeah there you go well it's barely noticeable um, it's the second spring that has to be readjusted a very 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 tiny bit uh, I'll see if I can do it uh, before shipping out just figured I would point it out but yeah, at the moment it sweeps very smoothly. Doesn't have an effect on timekeeping. It's just well, you want a perfect sweep, as you see there. Um, so how does this one work? It's automatic, so it will wind by the movement of your wrist. But you can also wind it manually, like this. Then when you pull out the crown to the first position, position, you've got time setting. There we go. Um, and the date changes smoothly at midnight boom there we go and then that's it and then when you want to quick set the date this is pull and push so every time you pull it into the second position the date will jump forward by one and then you just push it back in pull again and like that Anyway, when you're done, just um, when you're done, just push the crown back in, and that's it. You're good to go. This one, uh, let me show you quick, quick wrist shot. Um, there we go. There we go. Just really, really stunning piece. Very nice wrist presence and just super beautiful whenever light catches it this is on my very flat 7 inch wrist and fits nicely uh, it comes on a new generic strap um, this one is um, 
one of the platter things. I'll see if I can make a high quality, well, if I can get a high quality lizard or crocodile strap um, made for you. This, well, this is crocodile grain, uh, but the strap is, I don't think it's very comfortable, so I'll try to get a, a nicer one. Made. I hope you like it.